Chicago, a moderately sized Midwestern city on the coast of Lake Michigan, founded its international identity in 1893 with the most influential events to follow the city, the World's Fair, and the Columbian Exposition. The 1893 World's Fair and Columbian Exposition celebrated the 400-year anniversary of Christopher Columbus's discovery of the New World. The fair was situated over 600 acres, including many buildings and other architectural and technological innovations. In the span of six months, the fair showcased the diverse cultures of the world and the many accomplishments of society by bringing science and culture to the masses in a way that excited popular interest. The World's Fair brought new intellectual ideas to Chicago. The fair was a tremendously complicated and difficult to complete project requiring the coordinated efforts of countless workers, engineers, artists, architects, and government officials. Frederick Lawson designed the layout of the fairgrounds, and the primary architect, Henry Ives Cobb, created many of the buildings featured by the fair. Charles H. Wacker, the vice chairman of the General Committee of the Commercial Corporate Chicago, was the director of the fair. Due to financial mistakes, shortcomings in planning stage, and disagreements between desires at the fair. In fact, there was a grand argument over whether or not to build the Ferris wheel, which became a staple of the fair, and ended up saving the bankruptcy due to its popularity of the visitors. Many people, especially these involved in the development of the fair, felt that they accomplished something which few could, and they would be remembered for their contributions to society. The corporate and technological effects of the fair also caused Chicago's population to feel much more socially advanced and progressive than they were only a short time ago. The World's Fair of 1893 was an incredibly important event. The fair brought much attention to the city, which it would not have received otherwise. Chicago experienced unnatural growth due to the intellectual ideas that the fair brought. The fair concentrated all of humanity's achievements that separated it from the emeralds to only one city. This is the most grand and advanced city that had ever existed.